If one has been expelled by the party in terms of Section 129 of the Constitution, there is no reason for that person to then attempt to woodwink the system that has expelled him and go back uh, to Parliament or any other institution. So that application has been filed. The service is going to be done to those that uh, um, were expelled so that uh, we hear their side of the story as in terms of the law. Okay. Is it an agent or is um, it is an agent application? Okay. How many are all the 40? There are more because uh, you are talking about uh, members that were in parliament, you are talking about uh, senate and council. These people were recalled by the triple C. They challenged their recall in the high court. The high court upheld their recall. As a result, we know for a fact, a legal fact, that they ceased to be members of the parliament on account of their recall by the, RIC, uh, by the Triple C. They then proceeded to file nomination papers under the Triple C, the very same party which had recalled them. Our law knows no such absurdity. The party that recalled them did not sign their nomination papers. They were improperly therefore nominated and we will be seeking that they be expunged from the list of those that were validly nominated such that they will not be on the ballot page. The court order remains valid. Whatever happened after the court order is a subject of uh, another proceedings which are coming. It seems as if we are going to embrace ourselves for a season of litigation after litigation. It's going to be exciting for you and the members of the court says. Uh, now that you've mentioned it, I'm going to look for those papers and see at the basis of their application. Only then will I be in a position to formulate an opinion, of course, after consulting my client on the way forward.